But as you might have guessed from the title, yes, we are talking about Android 14 based MIUI 14 for the Poco X3 Pro. Before we begin, actually, there's a small story that I would like to tell you. Now, this basically is not directly released by Xiaomi. It is released for the Xiaomi 13, which is one of the flagships that Xiaomi have recently unveiled. So this is, of course, a beta test of Android 14 based MIUI 14, which was released for that device. Now, a Poco F4 developer managed to port it to the Poco F4 and a very talented person again ported it to our Poco X3 Pro. Now the reason I told you this before starting the video is because I really don't want to waste your time but I want to give you a heads up that this is not a daily driver but a good reason to stick till the end of the video is that you might want to see how much different Android 14 looks and this is a very crude early version so there's not much but stay tuned till the end because towards the end you will understand that what to expect if you are ever going to get Android 14 on the Poco X3 Pro officially from Poco. Hello everyone my name is Kailash and you're watching phone offs we make amazing and interesting tech content like this every single day we look forward to your support so please subscribe hit that notification bell icon and share it with as many people as you can so that we can grow and bring amazing content for you now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops let's get going Now without wasting any time, let's actually talk about what we have on our hands. Now you would notice that this is a screenshot but it does say MIUI CN upside down cake or Android U, whatever you want to call it, YU Bima, it works on both. The version here is 14.0.23.8.15.dev. Now what this means is this is a developer preview Android 14 updated on the 19th of August 2023. Now we are on the 20th of August so things should be fairly recent and we should not have missed much. Now if you go to the change log we can't really because this is a screenshot and I couldn't even manage to get telegram installed and I didn't try install via APK. Now it does say over here decrypted ROM, safety net is failing, don't use gesture navigation. I tried that and I had to reset the device. So if you are to install this and it's a very straightforward flash of one zip, if you are to install this, use the button navigation at the bottom. If you try to use gesture, you will just keep getting post closes and the phone will be unusable. Ported from Xiaomi 13, Puxi is the code name for that device. Now let's go to the main screen over here. Now let me give you a list of things that are working and a list of things that are not working here. For example, if we talk about the multitasking menu, that doesn't seem to be working. If we talk about the three finger screenshot, that seems to be working. I tried inserting a SIM card and 4G Volti was working absolutely okay. So at least you can make calls. As you can see from the icon over here, Wi-Fi is working absolutely okay. But camera on the other hand just refuses to work. There is no way you can get the camera working. I did not try Gcam because you know I was not planning to make this my daily driver but to give you a glimpse of what Android 14 looks like. Now let's actually dive into settings over here. And if you go to my device, the version is the same as I mentioned earlier. If you go to detailed info and specs, you do get August security patch on a brighter note and model and all the other information is mentioned over here. You do see the extended RAM and you see that it says that you know all the stuff is pretty pretty recent but the hardware version is mentioned as version 1. Now what is version 1 version 2 by Xiaomi I'm yet to dig into that but I'll definitely get back to you with that information. Apart from that Android 14 onwards settings looks pretty simple right. Let's talk about something interesting that is related to Android 14. Now, as you can see over here this definitely is Android 14. If you keep tapping on it, you will see this Easter egg. And when I tried the Pixel 7 Pro port for the Mi 11X, that video is coming soon. If you long press over here, you will have a lot of tactile feedback, you know, vibrations. And then this turns into a game, which unfortunately doesn't happen. And from here, you cannot go back as well. So the only way to go back is to go back to the main screen. Now let's go to settings once again. And if we see all the details over here, it's pretty standard vanilla MIUI. There is no major changes related to MIUI 15 or Android 14 that you would see over here. So no glimpse of any new features is what I have observed. But that didn't stop us from, you know, going through each and every sub menu and stuff like that. For example, you do have this option of always on display because of course Xiaomi 13 does have always on display, but it doesn't work on our Poco X3 Pro. It might work on the Poco F4, but that port is not out yet. So I've not tried it on the Poco F4. You do know that we have the Poco F4. Anyways, uh, moving on, if we go to display over here, you have very standard stuff going on over here, no changes at all. If you go to fingerprints and face unlock, for obvious reasons, face unlock will not work. 
But if we talk about fingerprint, well, at least that is working fine for me. And as you can see how buggy this is, it takes quite a lot of effort to even lock it. And sometimes it works like a charm. So not much to mention there. If you go to manage password, it will ask you to enter the fingerprint and this is your password manager. Of course, this is Xiaomi MIUI China. So it's a little different from the global ROM. And apart from that, if you go to the battery menu, you know, you might want to look for the battery health option. So let's go to battery over here, optimizing charging, automated tasks, charge today, normal. Everything seems to be pretty standard compared to normal MIUI 14. So no additional stuff over here. You do have screen time instead of digital well-being and you do have MIAI instead of, you know, your usual Google Assistant. So overall, if you ask me, this is not a daily driver, but this is a good ray of hope for Poco X3 Pro users that even if Poco releases this very, very late, we can have a fully functional port very, very soon, but as soon as it is out. Now, apart from this, talking about the applications over here, you get like 12 to 16 apps. You don't really have a lot of applications that are installed already. And matter of fact, security was something that I saw now because it prompted me to, you know, go ahead and add a shortcut over here. So if we talk about say the security version over here it is fairly recent 8.1.3 and even if we talk about the game turbo over here you once again have very very standard stuff so you know if you ask me to me it looks more like a version number upgrade of course there might be built in android 14 things that are improved but from a feature standpoint i don't see anything even the app vault is pretty standard to you know the latest chinese beta rom so things will change with time you know i'm not saying it's going to stay like this because miui 50 is expected to bring some really really huge changes and the same is expected from android 14 but android 14 is going to be more like under the hood so you know once again that will be covered in the me 11x video and me 11x is back from the dead that is a different video altogether so if you ask me you know the animations the smoothness everything is pretty smooth pretty better compared to what it is and as I said, no major changes, but I did try and to do for the kicks and the numbers that we got were not impressive. You don't expect anything magical over here. 662,071 was the score. The temperature increased just by 2.2 degrees. That's a little surprising. And the battery dropped by 4%. Now, the reason I said that's a little surprising is because probably because this is a port, it did not push this to the limit. Although we tried this without game turbo. And as I said, this is a China ROM port. So you don't get Google Play services or Play Store pre-installed. Even in Get Apps, it is not easy these days to go ahead and install Play Store. So I didn't bother trying it because if it's not going to be a daily driver, it's no point in telling you about the battery life or the performance numbers as I said this was a quick preview and first look of Android 14 officially slightly unofficially how it will look on Xiaomi phones let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video there are tons of videos coming up guys we have the GT Neo 3T the nothing phone one Poco F4 Mi 11X is back so this is a good time to subscribe and share it with all the people who have Xiaomi Redmi Poco Realme and a lot of other devices. I'll see you in the next one. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.